What is up, guys? It is your boy, Main Mania, back here in the flesh, and man, does it feel good. Well, at least back for one video. At least back for one video. Oh, man, what I had to go through, the hurdles I had to jump through to make sure I can bring you guys a battle 200 with face cam. I just couldn't let battle 200 hit without you guys being able to see my reactions to whatever the hell we end up getting. But y'all know the deal. Hopefully everything's been good with you guys. Um, I'm still working on getting my desk and new camera situated, but um, I'm, it's a work in progress. It's a work in progress. So this is what we're going to do, guys. Same boss build. Still running with the crippled build. Um, I really do like that crippling and with uh, Scoundrel Cybernetic Heart, I believe it's called. Uh, once the um, enemies get below a certain percentage, they get x-rays like right away within like 10, 15 seconds. I think it's 15 seconds. I don't know what it is at Fusion X, but it, it may be the same. The bottom line is they get x-rays and those x-rays are devastating. So we got to make sure we are ready to power drain. So y'all know the deal. We are running with Undead Hunter Johnny Cage. He's going to have the critical hit chance build. Uh, we don't have any, we didn't, we haven't gotten any tower equipment, the entire tower so far, not even uncommon pieces. We haven't gotten one piece of tower equipment in about 50 or so battles. So hey, not encouraging, but it's almost expected at this point from these towers, but critical hit chance build with speed so we can turn into supersonic. Liu Kang is there for the crippling effect for tag ins and tag outs. Uh, he's going to be uh, used as our guinea pig if we absolutely have to. And hopefully we can get some strong stun loops with his devastating special too. Even though he's only fusion 3 and he's very low level. And lastly, Freddy is going to be our core damage dealer on the enemies that get trapped in nightmares. Hopefully we can light them up with some lethals. He's going to get the Varan jacket. Why is my nose so itchy? And Freddy is going to get his equipment, the Varan jacket, some unblockable and a remaining uh, rare piece of tower gear for both attack boost and a damage boost. Now, I've been debating if I should swap out the Varan jacket for uh, the um, the the Cobra belt so we can cause some extra cripple just in case. But I think the Varan jacket robbing them of a special would probably be a little bit more beneficial in the end. So that's what we're running with guys let's hope that we have a good battle 200 um just to take a quick glance at their equipment we have one cybernetic heart two cybernetic heart three cybernetic hearts they all have that disgusting piece of equipment and they will basically be ready to light me up with x-rays so we got to make sure johnny always has a bar of power and stays alive so that he can potentially uh, power drain them the second they tag in with that x-ray Fight. and so it begins johnny already got speed we are already sonic he's starting the battle with two bars since it's a full black dragon team but we did power drain that and that well, oh god and that was a very strong power drain he is snared I want to tag in Freddy and cause cripple. He is in the nightmare world as well. We're going to go for special two since we are, since he is snared, we'll go for special two. We'll follow it up with special one. Let's see how much damage we get from this. Hopefully it's good. Not very good. Yeah, that was weak. We're going to go for another snare. Damn it. Tag out. Please tag out. Please tag out. Thank you. We needed to cause that, um, that cripple. Can't afford to eat any specials. Johnny still has full health and he's supersonic. So, um, oh my God, he's getting too much health. Oh no. Oh God. No. Oh God. Please power drain. Don't give him. He's not getting, he's resisting everything. He's resisting everything. Don't resist. Don't resist. He's resisting everything. Oh God. All right. We got to tag out. All we can really do is cause cripple at this point. Well, 
We're going to go for a special two, and then we're going to cripple. We're not getting some. We're not getting those big damage numbers with uh, Freddy because he doesn't really have strong tower equipment. You know what I mean? None of these tower gears have that. You know, 150, 200 percent damage bonuses that was in the Sorcerer's Tower. So, you know, not that the damage is bad. It's just not good. And now the Cybernetic Heart is gonna kick in. So we gotta try to get him out. We're gonna snare. We know he's gonna get a special. We're gonna snare real quick. And we know his specials are going to come back shortly. Now there's the X-Ray and Johnny's back for the Power Drain. We, we, we did that beautifully, guys. Beautifully. And if we could get any more tag disabled, he could potentially be dead. Oh, come on, baby. We lost speed, but... Please get this. Please get this. Come on. Drink. Power drink. Can't take the chance. Uh, time is running low. We don't want to take any chances. Let's get him out. Impressive. Woo! Why was I stun immune? Oh! 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 Damn it. I will get my revenge, you little shit. All right. We got one out in the first battle. We'll take it. Not spectacular, but not bad in any sense of the way. I think we did pretty good for the first round. They have a lot of health, and we don't have pieces that are giving us those really high damage boosts like we had in the Sorceress Tower. Uh, the gear pieces do not offer really big damage boosts in this tower. And we still haven't gotten one piece yet. So hopefully we do get an epic piece from this. I don't know if we will, but let's go ahead with uh, round two. Fight. All right. Um, they'll both mean the nightmare world, which is phenomenal. Please don't be stunned. Shit. No, 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 no. I'm telling you, man, his ability to stun on command like that, it's just devastating. Let's stun you and get Johnny in. He resists. Oh my God. This character is so annoying. Ah. I'm not even going to. All right, we're going to go. No, we're going to go for it, but he's going to resist. Snake <laughs> resisted. Well, please, power drain resisted. All right, we got to sacrifice you, if anything. Luke Kang's got to be the sacrifice. Of course not. He's going to die with one special. Unless he gets snared. Mm -hmm. Well, ah. Uh. This did not go well. First round went so much better. We'll do what we can. I, I, I doubt he outlives the uh, snare, but what are you going to do, guys? This is the annoyingness of this tower. Classic Liu Kang is so good, though. I can't wait to get him to Fusion X. Yo, when I get on the Fusion X, he's going to be one of my main ass damage dealers. I'll tell you that right now, man. He's going to be on my A-teams. This guy is easily top two in the game. Yo, he really did outlive that, though. We're going to do that. You're stunned. And now we get... We should have power drained first. I just don't want him to tag out. I wanted the snare first. But now we got the power drain still. So that worked out. Yo, Classic Liu Kang saved this run. And now we got speed. Now we're supersonic. Classic Liu Kang saved the run, guys. My little Pleb Fusion 3 saved this run. We got supersonic, yo. He saved it. He literally saved this run. It was over. But now we're able to whittle down Cabal with supersonic Johnny. Thanks to Classic Liu Kang and his amazing stun loops and stun potential. 
Well, for anyone that questions me, for not using Strike Force Cassie or Co op Cassie or, you know, even a resurrect character like Warlock Quan Chi, if you question my use of Classic Liu Kang as my, as my support character, <sighs> there you have it right there, boys. There you have it right there. It's working out beautifully because Classic Liu Kang is one of the best characters in the game. He, look, he's Fusion 3, but look how much of an impact he's having and has been having with these boss fights as the third wheel support. He's been having a phenomenal impact. So just imagine if I had him at Fusion X, he's definitely on my list of top three characters I want to Fusion X. Definitely. Still can't get Spec Ops Scorpion though, I don't want to talk about it. Let's go. Round three. Fight. All right, third round, boys. We're going to tag out, cause some cripple. Even though he doesn't need cripple because we are, we've already seen what he does. He just, uh, he resisted the cripple. Uh, uh, uh. Yo, this character is so annoying. Yo, the debuff resistance is real in this one. We're gonna stun you. He's gonna re he's gonna resist the stun. No, he didn't. Okay. Now we're just gonna try to get you out. You are just being a thorn in my side. We got supersonic Johnny. I need you to die. Oh my god. I knew that was gonna happen. Y'all saw me with that block ready, right? Y'all saw me with that block ready though. I need to get you out. Don't die. I just wanted to cripple for Johnny to protect Johnny. Once again, Luke Kang's the guinea pig. Even though he's putting in work, that would that tag was strictly to protect Johnny. Get the stun, tag back in Johnny, power drain. And let's hope that we get a tag disabled. We did, beautiful. Third try is possible. It's very possible. Not likely, but possible nonetheless. All gonna be about making sure we keep them crippled and supersonic Johnny, lighting them up. No specials. Can't let them use specials. I mean, Tremor's going to be impossible to kill, to be honest with you. Like, look how much damage we're doing. Like, all you guys see is crits and lethals lighting the screen up. And, like, their health is barely moving. You know what I mean? Like, their health is barely moving. You see it, too. Like, you see me. You see me grinding. You see Supersonic. Like, you see Supersonic Johnny going. I mean... It's just, I don't know if it'll be enough. Man, I am grinding right now, boys. Oh, God. No, no, no. I tried to tag out. Revenant, give me Revenant. Well, the dream is dead. No! He was on fire? Yo, Liu Kang, if you kill Tremor, you are a god. You are officially the fire god if you can get this kill. If you kill him, you are the fire god. Fire god Liu Kang? Classic <laughs> Liu Kang with the kill. No, you ain't getting me. We stayed alive, boys. You was not getting me with that x-ray. We stayed alive, boys. We stayed alive. <laughs> Let's go. We didn't get it in the third round. Y'all saw how much damage I was putting in, but it is what it is. Like, we was putting in work, but they got mad health. And the equipment damage percentages are just so weak in this tower. So, here we go. Round four. Will we get an epic piece? And is it a guaranteed Black Dragon Tremor? Which I really don't care about. I'm not really a big fan of his timings. But as you can see by that debuff resistance, it is devastating. Like, it is devastating. Fight. All right, boys, here we go. The cybernetic heart is gonna give him an X-ray in about 15 seconds. I did not want him to get that snare. 
Well, I guess we'll have to stick it out with Johnny. I was literally trying to tag out to Freddy. I wanted Freddy to get a special two and hopefully finish him off with that. But as you can see, he is earning power really fast because the his uh, cybernetic heart. But that's not an issue for Johnny. He's he's as good as dead. You should have never stared at me, fam. You should have never stared at me. All right, boys, here we are. End of the road. Battle 200 done. Will we get an epic piece? Hopefully we'll get the cybernetic heart if we do. And is it a guaranteed Black Dragon Tremor or is it just a Black Dragon character? Uh, it's not too clear, but survey says. Uh, you do get an epic piece. OK. You do get an epic piece, 30 percent chance to gain luck. After special one, I am not, uh, I feel like this is the worst of the epic pieces. Maybe not, but I feel like it is. Special one deals 10 times more damage after each use, and it stacks up to 10% more damage, not 10 times. That would be broken. A 10% more damage after ECU stacks up to five times. Uh, we'll throw this on Supersonic Johnny and hope that it will have a positive impact on him. It is a 150% health boost and 75% damage boost, which is still not too great. I wish it was the other way around, but unfortunately it is not. Is it a Black Dragon Tremor? Survey says... C. It is a Black Dragon Tremor which is a character I don't really enjoy using. I do think mine is at like Fusion 3 or something like that. Um, but as you guys can see, the, his debuff resistance is insane. If you add debuff resistance to him, he basically can't ever be debuffed. And that is a pretty strong uh, feat to have on maybe a third wheel on your team. So he's not trash. He has a really strong passive. I just don't like the way he moves and plays, but with all, his, with all of his stuns and debuff resistances, he is a player. You, you can't deny that he's, he's, he's a good diamond. He is a good diamond. Where does that take him in my collection? Fusion 4. So I did have him at Fusion 3. And uh, now he'll be at Fusion 4. So yeah, guys, there we have it. Battle 200. In a nutshell, as you can see, we did get an epic piece of gear. So that is great news. And we did get a Black Dragon Tremor. I'm not sure if he's the only option, but it is what we ended up getting. So hopefully if we get more runs in, we'll be able to confirm if it's always a Black Dragon Tremor. I don't know how long this tower will last for. So let's see how many runs of it we can get in. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode and you guys are happy to see your boy back. Uh, I know I'm thrilled about it, as you guys can tell. Uh, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and uh, if you guys, hopefully you guys are finding some of the strategies that I'm using in these, my, uh, my, my equipment combinations and how I always have two damage dealers, one support character to buff my damage dealers or protect them in one way or the other. Uh, hopefully you guys are finding these little things helpful and you guys are kind of uh, enjoying that uh, tactical aspect of my gameplay. Uh, let me know in the comment section below. I'm actually curious. What do you guys love about my videos? Why don't you guys let me know? What do you love about my Mortal Kombat mobile content? That would actually be really intriguing. So I look forward to your comments as always, guys. You guys know the deal. If you are new to my channel and you are not yet subscribed, do not forget to go ahead and smash that subscribe button. And lastly, do not forget to show your boy some love and hit that like button so that we can get more amazing people like yourselves in our MK mobile community. So y'all know the deal. Show the video some love. I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. And I can't wait to read your comments. Y'all know the deal. It's your boy, Main Mania. Thank you for watching. I'll catch y'all in the next one. And I'm out. Peace.